Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our AP Comparative Government and Politics course. Whoa, that's a mouthful. AP COGO. Oh, something like that. Anyways, my name is Aaron Gomez. Here we are at CDS for the 2020 to 2021 school year. Time sure is flying, okay? You notice in the background, we got a nice picture of, what is this, Big Ben or Westminster or something like that? I don't know. They got double-decker buses. It must be the UK. Um, anyways, we're going to be talking about our Comparative Government course. It's an amazing course that started up last year, thanks to our wonderful seniors this year. You can see this lovely book, nice and small, it will not break your back. I love it. Okay, so why should we take this AP Comparative Government and Politics course? Well, first of all, you want to better understand the diversity of political experiences outside of the United States. This course in America, in many ways, is a companion course to the American Government AP course. Um, you know, being in the Korean context might not be necessary for you to know about the American government. You're missing a lot, though, if you don't take it. We'll talk about that in the future, okay? We're going to be comparing policy structures and social challenges across six major course countries, UK, China, Russia, Iran, Mexico, and Nigeria. Um, in my opinion, I tend to focus a lot on the UK and China because uh, historical reasons, uh, colonial reasons, um, and you can't talk about modern politics or economics without China. You've got to talk about it. We've also got these other course countries in there to represent various interests, um, and we'll talk about that more in the future. Disciplinary practices, we're going to compare and contrast. We're going to have application and evidence-based arguments. It's a lot of fun. It's basically, uh, it's, a, it's a political science course. So the first time we, we focus a lot on the tools of political scientists, and then we move forward with our case studies. Um, those case studies are very critical to understanding of this course. I will also make sure, just for you guys, we're going to thread through some material about America and especially Korea. It's real important that we know our home. OK, so I know a lot of you guys have been doing uh, you've studied Korean history. And so I'm going to be looking to you guys to bring elements of that into this class. It's really critical. Of course, textbooks. Um, there's two listed here. There'll be another one in the future. The Essentials of Comparative of Politics with Cases. This thing here. Look at how nice and slim it is. Unlike your teacher, it's got a nice orange cover, just like our president. You'll notice. Oh, my God. It's so readable. Look at this beast. Look at this. Huh? So, no excuses. We're reading this, okay? It's a fun text. It goes quite quickly. I've talked to the author a couple times. He's a wonderful guy, okay? You can get this in hard copy, dead tree, or electronic, available on Amazon. Either one's fine. Please be sure you get the orange cover, okay, with cases. The reason I say that, there's, uh, there's another copy of the book without cases. It's cheaper. It's smaller, it's slimmer, it's not as good. You don't want that one. Get this one, okay? Those cases are vital for this course. You also want to get The Future of Freedom, Illiberal Democracy at Home and Abroad by Fareed Zakaria. If you recognize his name, he's on CNN all the time. He's a brilliant guy, okay? Um, this book is the one shown at the top. It's a New York Times bestseller, and it starts to give us a nice overview, a nice criticism of what's happening in the realm of comparative politics. It comes highly recommended by other teachers. Again, Hard copy or Amazon Kindle, whatever you want, get it quickly. Major themes, power and authority, legitimacy and stability, democratization, internal external forces, methods of political analysis. I just showed you guys what not to do. Don't read right off the slide, okay? Uh, we see a picture of Mexico. God, I do love Mexican food. I miss it there. Those are my people, okay? So I'm going to have to go there and visit and, and start eating again. Not that I need to eat more. Summer assignment. <laughs> just making jokes. Summer assignment and preparation, okay? That book that I talked about, The Freedom, uh, Future of Freedom, you got to read it in its entirety. It's about 400 pages, I think. Read it. It's a fast read. It's fun. It's engaging. It's topical. You're going to love it. And you can write a, sh a short two-page paper on the text. Please see the summer assignment document for details. That's due on July 26th, okay? we got the Google Classroom code. Please be ready. Be prepared. Reach out if you need anything. Um, and other than that, I look forward to seeing you, and we're going to have a wonderful year. Thank you guys so much.